Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cliff from Advanced Diagnostics. Today, I have an ideal method of programming that I want to share with you on the GMs because on these late model vehicles, for example, the one you see on the screen, that's your Chevrolet Spark USA 2016 and 2020 bladed ignition. You'll read the pin code, go in, add your key or erase and put in the required amount of keys depending on the model year. But you sometimes will end up with a solid security light even though the vehicle runs and everything's been closed out. The way to normally resolve this would be to just pop the hood on the vehicle, disconnect the negative lead on the battery for a brief period of time and hook it back up and the light will go out. There is an easier method though. This is the one I wanna share with you and credit goes to Josh Heath. If you don't know Josh, he's a locksmith that resides in North America. He writes the Transponder book set. He's been using this method for a long time now. We do want to share it with you. What he does is he goes back into pin code reading. Now, be careful because if you're using tokens, this is going to open a new session. But if you read the pin a second time, it will extinguish the security light without touching the battery. Now, of course, if you are using tokens, you could probably pass that cost on to your customer. For those of you that are on the unlimited token plan or you own the software, this is an ideal method to extinguish that light without popping the hood and touching the battery. So please make note of it. That ends our session today. I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.